Good morning, Gators. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd, Wolf to Gator News. I'm Jaden. I'm Austin. I'm tired, man. I had to close last night, fighting demons. How are you feeling? I'm doing better. It's good, man. I need a nap. Uh, it's actually bad for your body. I wouldn't recommend it. I would. The Lady Gators varsity softball team defeated Clear Falls 3-1 to one in last night's first district game. Sophomore Cadence Williams was the first winning pitcher, lasting seven innings, allowing only five hits while striking out ten. The Gators got things moving in the second inning when junior Daniela Rios tripled on the first pitch of at the bat, scoring two runs. Offensively, Rios, junior Maya Trigo, and juniors Cadence Henry each managed one hit. Henry and sophomore Yasmin Stewart made some phenomenal catches defend defensively to lead the Gators to victory. The JV softball team also defeated Clear Falls 5-2 behind sophomore pitcher Kiera Gonzalez. The Gators did not commit one error defensively in securing the win. Good job. The Arts students competed at our regional UIL Visual Arts Classic event this past Saturday. We have five students advance to the state. Zoe Hammer, Madison Wilson, Ira Bernardo, Catherine Tovar, and Jacob Schoen. And 20 students received a perfect score along with 68 entries which received a 4, which is the highest score you can get. Great artwork, everybody. Looking for a summer job? Apply to be a lifeguard. DS Recreational Services is looking to hire a top-of-the-line people to join their team for this summer. They offer competitive rates, flexible hours, opportunity for management advancements, bonuses, and employment incentive events, and a fun workplace by the pool. They are currently hiring for Bay Colony Pool, across from Bay Colony Elementary School, and the Bayview Parkside Pool. To apply now, go to nowhiringlifeguards.com to submit your application. The Texas Boys State Summer Nominations Forums are being accepted until March 11th at 3 p.m. Junior Year Boys develop interested in developing civic leadership and have an interest in government need to apply by filling out the nomination form. Selected students will be sponsored by the American Legion to represent Dickinson High School on UT's campus, if not virtual, on June 12th through the 17th. To sign up, scan the QR code on screen. Blue Bonnet Girls State Self Nominations are being accepted until March 11th at 3 p.m. Junior girls interested in developing civic leadership and have an interest in government need to apply by filling out the nomination form. Self-nominations must include a resume and a personal statement. Possible interviews will be determining the delegates for DHS, and they will be held after spring break. Selected students will be sponsored by the American Legion Auxiliary. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Gay Nation Media, and on Twitter at Gay Nation Live for the latest news live updates. And if you're a staff member with interesting stories or information included in Gay Nation News, be sure to send us our email at gmedia at dixonsd.org. That's all the news we have for you. We'll see you tomorrow on Gay Nation News. And now it's fun fact. Here's the fun fact of the day. When howling together, no two wolves will howl on the same note. Instead, they will actually harmonize to create the illusion that there are more of them than they actually are. That's all for now. I'll see you tomorrow.